hello you're welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation solution from what we have here when we have a over b all raised to power n the same thing as a raised to power n over b raised to power n that is we can rewrite this as x raised to power 6 over 2 raised to power 6 then equals to 3 raised to power 6 from here and also this is 3 raised to power 6 over 1 and cross and multiply here x raised to power 6 times 1 will still be x raised to power 6 then equals to 3 raised to power 6 times 2 raised to power 6 there then also from when we have a raised to power n times b raised to power n this is same thing as a times b or raised to power n then we can rewrite this and we have x raised to power 6 here equals to 3 times 2 or raised to power 6 from here then and this becomes x raised to power 6 equals to 3 times 2 here that's 6 then raised to power 6 that is here let's take 6 raised to power 6 to this side and we have x raised to power 6 minus 6 raised to power 6 equals to 0 from here then we can also rewrite this as x raised to power 3 raised to power 2 as 2 times 3 will still be 6 then minus here as well 6 raised to power 3 then raised to power 2 then equals to 0 from here which imply this follows from a square minus b square which is equals to a plus b multiplied by a minus b and from what we have here a is same thing as x raised to power 3 then b same thing as 6 raised to power 3 then the equation we have here becomes x raised to power 3 plus 6 raised to power 3 into brackets then also into bracket x raised to power 3 minus 6 raised to power 3 close bracket now equals to zero from here then we have two cases here the first one we have x raised to power 3 plus 6 raised to power 3 equals to zero or we have x raised to power 3 minus 6 raised to power 3 equals to zero from here then let's solve from the first case here this follows from a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3 which is equals to a plus b into brackets then open bracket a square minus a b plus b square that is here what we have becomes x plus 6 into brackets then open bracket x square minus 6x plus 6 square close bracket now equals to 0 from here that is from here this becomes x plus 6 into bracket then open bracket x square minus 6x plus 6 square 6 times 6 that's 36 close bracket then equals to 0 from here and here we have two cases we have x plus 6 equals to 0 or we have x square minus 6x plus 36 equals to 0 from here and on this side here we have x equals to minus 6 then what we have here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1 b equals to minus 6 and c equals to 36 
that is from the formula here we have x equals to minus minus 6 plus or minus square root of minus 6 square minus 4 times 1 times 36 then over 2 times 1 that is here this becomes x equals to minus times minus plus so we have 6 plus or minus square root of minus c square here we have 36 then minus 4 times 1 times 36 minus 144 then over 2 from here which becomes x equals to 6 plus or minus square root of minus 1 and 8 over 2 from here and here we can also separate this as x equals to 6 plus or minus square root of 36 times 3 times minus 1 then over 2 and here root 36 we can bring that out as 6 then we have this becomes x equals to 6 plus or minus 6 root 3 root minus 1 is i then over 2 that is here we can equally write as x equals to 2 into bracket 3 plus or minus 3 root 3 i then over 2 from here and 2 cancel each other then this implies x equals to 3 plus or minus 3 root 3 high here we have two complex solutions from here then from the second case here this follows from a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3 which is equals to a minus b into brackets the open bracket a square plus a b plus b square from here then what we have here becomes x minus 6 into bracket the open bracket x square plus 6x plus 6 square equals to 0 from here then here we have two cases the first one we have x minus 6 equals to 0 or we have here that is x square plus 6x plus 36 equals to 0 from here and this side this implies we have x equals to 6 from here then on this side we have a here to be 1, b here to be 6, and c here to be 36. So from the quadratic formula here, this becomes x equals to minus 6 plus or minus square root of 6 square minus 4 times 1 times 36 then over 2 times 1 from here then the same thing as x equals to minus 6 plus or minus square root of 6 squared that's 36 then minus 144 here over 2 then we have x equals to minus 6 plus or minus roots minus 108 then over 2 then root minus 108 this give us 6 root 3 high because that's 36 times 3 times minus 1 that is here we have x equals to minus 6 plus or minus 6 root 3 i over 2 then here 2 can go in 6 and this 6 here and we have x equals to minus 3 
plus or minus 3 root 3 i here we also have two complex solutions from here then all together we have we have six solutions that is we have two way solutions here then we have four complex solutions from here and thank you for watching don't forget this step subscribe for more videos turn the notification bell on share this video and give it a thumbs up and see you next class bye for now